Morning. The technology apocalypse is still in full throttle, but I don't have time for this. I'm going to school. Hey, how are you doing, Missy? <laughs> she loves me. She like hops up on my lap and stuff no matter where I go. Makes me so happy. So happy! Oh, don't leave me, Stevie Wild. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you. I need to get a jacket because it's kind of chilly today. Do, do, do. And my first class today is effective communications. That's like the fun class. At least I think it is. Alright, let's do this. Let's enjoy today. Today is the first day I didn't make a lunch for myself. Bad news. That means I had three school days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week. My only school days. And I made a lunch for myself every day. And so it only took three days for me not to make a lunch. Because I slept in, I didn't have time. But I've been sleeping in because I keep having crazy dreams. I've had a crazy dream like four nights in a row. Last night's crazy dream was that I was working at Tim Hortons again. And the girl that I used to train had to train me because everything was different. And there's all these new rules and stuff. And it was, it was a nightmare actually now that I think about it. I had a dream the other night that all this crazy stuff happened. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, was all that stuff that happened just a dream? And like, what happened was there was pizza. So then there was pizza in real life. And I was like, was it real? But then I woke up again. I woke up in my dream, but I was still dreaming. Does that make sense? Like in my dream I woke up, but I was actually still dreaming. So it was like a double dream. It was like Inception, man. So that was pretty trippy. When I woke up for real, there was no pizza, so I knew it was fake. I think this dude is really pushing his parking. <laughs> Every morning when I walk into class, I pass all these people who are smoking, like so many. And it's gross, I kinda just wish they weren't there. I don't get smoking, I don't understand it. I just think, Bleh. no offense to anybody who smokes, if you do. If I was to smoke something, I would at least smoke something that gives me a bit of a buzz, you know? There's Cigarettes would be my last choice of what I would smoke if I was going to smoke, which I'm not. I don't understand. I asked someone what feeling cigarettes give her that she likes, and she told me that it makes her feel relaxed. But she didn't know that when she started smoking the first time, so why'd she start in the first place? It's not like it's cool. Anyway, that's just Mr. Wild's opinion. What's yours? Question of the day. What's your opinion on smoking? Right now, but this is the uh, control room. It's all high Crazy. def. We were the first uh, facility in Edmonton to be completely high def production capable. Since then, uh, Global TV has joined us and CBC and so on, all hooked up in the network. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is it with no people. We we're just getting a quick tour of some of the parts of the facility that we haven't seen yet. I showed you this before though, the the TV room, and I'm gonna sit there on the stage one day. There's also a second new studio that I didn't know about. Nice. Right. It's a documentary. I forgot to explain this in my vlog while I was there, so I'm just gonna give you a quick explanation now. Is this room was so cool, I don't know what it was for, but there was this room and you could lock someone in there and like interrogate them like in the movies, like the cops do. It was so cool. Anyway, see ya. Second decision, kids. It's a radio room. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, like Becca, that. sit down, I'm gonna interrogate you! <laughs> <laughs> My friend in there, May, was singing because I guess she thought that it was a recording studio, which I guess is possible. What do I know? In this room, through there, they call it the cave. Look, there's like words inscribed on the wall like people were locked in here. <laughs> this is a place. I can't read the rest of it. And this is the newsroom! At least people weren't locked in this room like the other one. This made me laugh. Vote naked online. Uh oh, I think they found me. I was just sleeping in my bed. I was taking an after school nap and I woke up and I looked outside the window. You know what I see? A little unsettling if I do say so myself. I had a little bit of a, <gasps> they found me, heart attack until I saw that car parked there. So uh, they were probably speeding or something. I hope. 
Either that or there's police downstairs. We actually, did you, see, did you hear that siren? We have police and ambulance coming across here every day because it's a highway. And across the road from us is a place where people with disabilities live. And there's always an ambulance or something stopping there, which is unfortunate. It's right across there. There's always people sitting in the front staring at me. Like that dude. Or do that, I can't really tell. Anyway. If I go downstairs and everybody's in handcuffs, you know, maybe I should just creep or something. It's gone now. Close call. After I made dinner, which was delicious by the way, I'm becoming a really good cook now. Like I made pierogies and chicken Kiev and green beans and so it's like got dairy and meat and vegetables. Well, I got really off topic there, but I've really been enjoying cooking for myself because, like, I can be in charge of what I can eat and I can be in charge of what nutrients I get and all that stuff. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to tell you. I was just sitting around on my computer and I thought, hey, I should watch some of my old some of my old vlogs. So I watched some of my vlogs from when I lived with Stacy's family, and they're like good. Like, I don't know, maybe the vlogs that you film yourself get better with time or something but I didn't really think I was very good at doing vlogs but when I was watching these ones that I haven't seen for like a month or two they're better than I remember maybe because I don't know what's going to happen next and maybe that's why it seems better but like I don't know I just feel a lot better about it now that I went and watched a couple and I'm like hey these aren't so bad and it makes me want to vlog even more in the future so that could be a good thing for you but I want to hop more on CV Motion and more on Blog TV so that I can get some people actually watching the vlogs. However, I would do it even if I got zero views because it's really fun for me to watch it, just like right now. Anyway, shut up, Steven. I'm going to have a shower. I'm all showered up, and I just gotta say, yo, today was a great day. Nothing particularly special even happened. I just woke up, had a nice breakfast, had a great day at school. I hung out with a bunch of cool kids at lunch. I came home, had a great nap. And I had a delicious dinner that I prepared that I was really proud of. I watched some TV with Nadia, the lady I'm renting the room from. It's just been such a great night. And, you know, if this is what my life is going to be like for the next two years, I think I can handle it. I think it's going to be crazy and it is going to be wild and it is going to be a great time in my life. And when I went back to look at some of my older vlogs, I only watched it a couple, but it kind of made me think. I started vlogging at a pretty awesome time because there's been a lot of big changes in my life. Like, you saw me living at home for a month, then you saw me living with Stacy's family for four months, and now you're seeing me living here in Edmonton for the next while. And it's just, it's been a wild roller coaster, and I'm so glad that I've captured it, and I'm so glad that I can watch it, and I'm so glad that some of you... Like, 14 of you watched it with me, too. Anyway, it is an early day for me tomorrow. Why? You'll find out in the next vlog. So, good night.